with Hoaxbuster. Oh, Chris, 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 and John Adams and Jay are the new. Power no, no, no. Trio. But Marcus Allen, you don't, you don't remember. You... <laughs> Years ago, H. G. Wells visualized roads such as these in his science fiction fantasy, and today they're a reality. You're listening to the Afternoon Commute. <laughs> Welcome to the Afternoon Commute with Chris Kendall and John Adams. Today is November 29th, 2016. If you'd like to hear previous episodes of the Afternoon Commute, go to hoaxbusterscall.com and you'll see those posted up there alongside the most recent episode of Chris's Monday Night Broadcast, the original Hoaxbusters Call. Also posted up there are various articles and videos. Some of those are original in in nature, so make sure you check those out. For any and all things Hoaxbusters, go to hoaxbusterscall.com today. Chris, my good friend, how are you? I'm doing good, John. Thanks for the uh, professional intro there. Always appreciate that. I I slipped up a bit, but yes, I I tried. It's memorized at least. I'm not reading. Um. Yeah. So uh, it's a nice frosty day here in the Southland, and um. Yeah, Southland being uh, right. I'm right outside of Los Angeles. I'm in the county of Los Angeles, but not in Hollywood, and certainly not in esoteric Hollywood, which actually is the name of Jay Dyer's book, uh, which is out now. Mm-hmm. And I, and uh, Chris, Chris, you have a copy of it, right? In, oh, that's in your hand. <laughs> I believe uh, you're actually uh, holding it right now. Uh, I'm not holding um, it right now. It's uh, at my nightstand. Ah. Being red. And um, it's on top of Mein Kampf and Mein Trump. <laughs> on Chris's nightstand. Mein Trump. <laughs> That's yeah, it's yeah, between uh, My Little Pony book and uh, Mine Comp. <laughs> my Little Pony. My, my Little Pony. The, uh, but yes, as you, as you uh, heard there, our guest is Jay Dyer. joins us on a regular basis uh, to talk all things worldly. <laughs> And um, to show our disinfo and disinfo our shilling, go to jaysanalysis.com, check out all of his fine publications and audios. In fact, uh, I was just listening to. I've uh, I've been listening to a podcast recently because I had some stuff go on, but um, catching up, and I I heard the last two with you and uh, Tim Kelly, which I just talked to Tim yesterday, and uh, yeah, those two, uh, those last two uh, were really good. Um, And uh, yes, Jay's got a lot of good audios and a lot of good uh, articles. Make sure you check those out. Mr. Dyer, how are you, sir? Just showing, showing, and putting out this info. Yes, like like you guys do. By the way, I, the reason I say that is I came across a YouTube guy who made a video that includes all of us, and it says that we are all a network, <laughs> and that we're all in some way kind of run by fakeologists, which I've never interacted with that guy at all. Uh, I think they've linked me a couple of times, but I have no idea who fakeologist is. Never talked to him, but because uh, Chris has me linked and that linked, we're all linked, and there's a network of us, and it's all a, a disinfo network. I don't know who the guy is, but I'm sure that he's a Jew. Well, probably, and he would probably say that we're all run by Jews. Yes. Well, um, well, yes, Chris Chris and I have had multiple conversations with Tim over fake all this. Uh, Tim's a good guy, and, um, and I repost our stuff over there. Well, there you go. That's confirmed. That guy's right. It's all been network. Yep. And and Tim has even posted your audios, Jay, and some of your stuff too. So yeah, he 
Even without you knowing you were in the network, you are in the network. Damn it. <laughs> actually, it was financed by HSBC. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that. The drug Money Podcast. <laughs> yeah. I, I got I to hear that. I got to hear... I gotta hear the uh, the audio. You gotta send that to us. I meant to. He did like a two hour Google Hangout, so I, I wasn't gonna listen to the whole thing. But I caught enough of it. <laughs> Can you name the name? Oh, uh, it's on my history here on my YouTube channel thing. I can find it, but uh, off the top of my head, I can't. I can look and see. <laughs> I'm uh, Rob Robert Rayvolt. Did you know that? I do another completely different podcast, and I alter my voice. Well, somebody I, said I that, that somebody said I was the anarchist on Corbett's podcast. Corbett did some I anarchist. You, I thought voice. you were James. You, you are James Corbett, oh, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> Uh, hi folks, you're listening to The Corbett Report with Jim Corbett Today we're going to be talking about Gladio Operation Gladio is something that is definitely real That was my on the spot I've got a bit of a cold So if my impersonations my, my, my impersonations are fucked up Is because I got a cold By the way, I, do, I, I discover I do a good Larry Nichols If you want to hear that one Oh, oh yeah, 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 please. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Please do. Yeah. Well, Chris, I was I was talking to Hillary. I was on Hostbuster Show fifteen years ago and Hillary is going to Witch Church. I said, What the hell the Witch Church? Chris told me he took me down there on his broom, drove me to the Witch Church with Hillary. <laughs> I'm I'm assuming that you heard the the Alex clip with him talking about Hillary at the witch church. Yeah, I heard, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) He said said Vince Foster got killed because Hillary was having an affair with Vince Foster. Right. Uh, yeah, actually, that Dean Arnold guy that had me on his podcast wrote a book and says that. No, I don't know enough about the Vince Foster thing. I don't have any opinion on it, but I don't know. You think that what you li- uh, no. she's she's too lesbo or something? Here it is. I I have no idea. I don't even want to think about that. Nine eleven 911 Clues Forum, Fakeologists, and Hoaxbusters Disinformation Network. And the YouTube channel is Calcified Lies. Oh, yeah, I heard of him. He used to come on the... I don't, I don't know if he's been on the call, but I'm pretty sure he's been in the chat. He's been on Tim's uh, podcast before. Well, of course, you know what happens anytime you have a disagreement with somebody uh, de facto. That means that they're all suddenly disinformation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that happens. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, that's interesting. That's funny. Who's that other dude? I'm trying to think of Ozzy Ben Oswald. He always says we're disinfo too. Yeah, I had a disagreement with him a long time ago, and he was saying that Mark Humphreys was the Harley guy. I said, no, dude, it's not. And I said, you know, we've got a back and forth, and then I don't know if that that triggered him or whatever, but every ever since then he's kind of been uh, saying – or if that's recent, I don't know. I can't keep track. Yeah, he does. Well, he goes. Through, I see him on. I see him on comments. Like I've seen him on comments of of uh, you know J post past conversations we've had, or you know um, I think on Tim Kelly on Tim Kelly's stuff too, and it'll be him commenting on there saying. I've never I've never talked to the guy, but he'll be he'll just say that you know. Uh, Say I'm disinfo, which, which, which is, is which is pretty rare. I, I never, I mean, like Jay bringing Jay bringing this up. I never really like see. I've seen people in the hostbusters chat, like you know, saying stuff. Mm-hmm. 
But, <laughs> but it, is, it, is, it is pretty rare, which is interesting. I, yeah, I've only just, gotten it from a couple people. <laughs> yeah, the guys who said you were Ted Turner's son, that was so great. Yeah, that one was funny. <laughs> Okay. Well, um, so uh, the book, your uh, book came out, you got published, and um, copies are out for anybody. You can only do it if you're a CIA shill. That's the only way you can do that. Uh, that's right, you can only publish books if you are a CIA shill. We talked about that last time, so that's all out there. Um, and uh, for anybody who's n- never heard about what the book's about, uh, can you give a brief synopsis? Uh, yeah, so basically it's just doing <clears throat> Roger Ebert style movie a- a- analyses on acid, is the way I put it. I'm not literally on acid, but I'm looking at movies and um, dissecting them in uh, philosophical, metaphysical, literary, whatever kind of sense. And what the book is, is just a compilation of about 25 or 30 of uh, the ones I picked out as either my favorites or movies that I thought were pretty important or needed to be dissected or had some kind of message or were culturally important. And... um, so, but it's not just a, a movie book. You guys ever hear that Jay? Who's that guy with Chris and John uh, on Hostbusters? That Jay Dyer guy. Hmm. He's the new power trio now. He he does the new power trio. Yeah, he does. (laughs) He does a really good.